This is Dabu7. Some updated information on this massive WannaCry cyber attack that uh, many are referring to as the ransom attack, ransomware, that was using Bitcoin. And I got some updated details here that are interesting because these are big questions that I had in trying to get to the bottom of this. I mean, just common sense type things. If, if you're going to investigate something like if they're going to withdraw the money, it's got to be sent somewhere. All of that has to be seen. Some people think that the Bitcoin and its services are like totally untrackable, but anything being exchanged over the internet, that itself can be tracked. And they're admitting as much right now, saying that there has yet to be any withdrawal. They're saying the hacker... The hackers collecting the Bitcoin following this have yet to withdraw any of the digital currency from their accounts. And they're also saying they could have a hard time doing so without getting caught. So they're watching them like a hawk here. And I'm not so sure that this was ever set up to really take any money anyway. I'm still sticking to my guns believing that this is a beta test by the alphabet gangs. What better way to get everybody looking for a culprit in the heat off you when you're playing victim? So, at this point, 150 countries affected. Trump had held an emergency meeting in regards to this tune. The timing, we've had a lot of different attacks. We weren't even hit that hard. But all of a sudden, they're holding, holding these emergency meetings, secret meetings, while Russia, China, South Korea... Um, some interesting countries were getting hit pretty hard. But some are saying that this new variant is not going to have a kill switch. And that this thing is beginning to spread still. It's not wiped out completely. We have Europol, their executive director, Rob Wainwright, saying that this is unprecedented, that we've never seen anything like this. And there's the threat that this could come through again, and if it doesn't have a kill switch, it can get out of control. Of course, they're going to keep saying all this stuff, but like I said before, you should know who's behind this. If you guys missed my other videos, make sure to check them out. Put a lot of detail in a couple of those. And that's where it sits right now. This thing, in my opinion was just that, a beta test, and I think we're going to see more in the future. So in terms of having plans for survival and for a lights out or grid down type of situation, I think people really need to start taking the steps. Sew up any holes in your game, so to speak, just to be safe. But I will continue to update with more as things change. This has been Dabu7. Peace.